What is going on guys? We have got something very cool going on right now, which is that the Xbox 360 is now technically soft moddable with just a USB flash drive thanks to Xbox 360 bad update created by Grim Doomer. And we are gonna do the fastest guide as possible to show how to use it and get up in gaming with it because there's a lot of information out there. I had to sift through a lot of it and I'd like to speed it up for you guys. And our goal is just to get up in gaming on the unreleased 007 Golden my Xbox 360 remaster on my unmodded Xbox 360 slim console. Let's dive into it. So first thing, I'm gonna create a new profile that is not on Xbox Live. Player one is fine. Create profile, sign in. We can have as much fun as we want with the uh, character builder. I'm gonna go with this guy. I don't know why, but he's just speaking to me right now. I have no notes. No notes here. You're perfect just the way you are. All right, now we're gonna check what version we have installed because you do need to have the latest update, of the Xbox dashboard. Oh, system info, there we are. And yes, 2.0.17559.0 is the latest, so we are good to go there. And so now let's turn our attention to our computer with a flash drive. All right, so over on my computer, I've got this 500 gig USB drive that I don't really know what to do with, so I'm gonna use it for this project. It does need to be FAT32, and Windows isn't gonna let me do that on a drive this big. So I'm gonna use Mini Tool Partition Wizard to force that format of this guy. So we'll go here, I'm gonna go format, and I'm gonna choose FAT32. I'll call them add update. Okay, apply, apply, do the thing. Fantastic. Okay, so now that is a FAT32 drive. We'll quit, we'll refresh this. FAT32, fantastic. Then what we're gonna do is pop the USB flash drive into our Xbox. Let's go ahead and format it. Do the thing. Fantastic. 500 gig USB storage device. That's what we like to see. And so now let's go ahead and I guess I don't need to save the ejected. I can just rip it out of the 360. So let's do that and pop it in our PC. So we'll open that up over here. And then what we're gonna wanna open up is the GitHub page for Xbox 360 Bad Update. I'll have this linked in the description, but we'll go to releases here and we'll grab version 1.1, load that. And we'll also download the tools as I believe our patcher tool that we'll need later is in there as well. So I'll minimize that, open up a new window for us here. Even though Windows 11 has lovely tabs, it is nice to use Windows. And there we go. I went ahead and created a new folder called bad update to put all of our files we'll be downloading in here, partly for organization and partly so I don't have to worry about what other crap I put in my downloads. So let's go ahead and extract both of these. Starting in the bad update one, we'll be using Rock Band Blitz Trial to activate this exploit. You can also use Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, but I believe that requires a disc, and this one is gonna be much more accessible for most people. So we're gonna grab these two folders and put them in the root of our USB drive. We'll head back to tools, and yes, indeed, that has our patcher tool. We'll come back to that as we need. I'll go ahead and delete the OG zips. Side note, if you don't have the latest version of Xbox 360 dashboard, you can go into a site like this. I'll have this link in the description as well, and you can grab the latest update and follow the steps here to manually install it because I'm not positive that Microsoft is gonna keep that server online for updating your Xbox 360 anymore. And from that same site, we're also gonna grab the Rock Band Blitz Xbox Live Arcade download. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it from DigiX because that just sounds cool. I'll throw it in my bad update folder and save that. Mmm, that's low. Let's race the mirrors. <laughs> we'll pit it versus the Google Drive mirror. Race is on. Whoa, <laughs> the Google Drive one is already done. Uh, all right, clear winner. Let's stop this one. So now let's go to this RAR file, 7-zip extract, there he flies. And we'll just grab content, drag it over here, let those merge. And so that'll take a little bit of time. So while that goes, let's go ahead and grab our next set of files. Oop, I spoke too soon. Speed rapidly increasing. <laughs> well, although between the bad update payload and the Rock Band Blitz trial on here, we can technically now exploit the Xbox 360. We're gonna wanna be able to actually do something with an exploited 360. And so that's where FreeMyZ comes in, which is gonna unlock a lot of functionality. So we're gonna go to the GitHub page here and grab the beta four. And this thing does a ton of cool stuff. It lets you run homebrew and unsighted code. And as of recently, uh, letting you run G Xbox games, or at least more than we're supporting apparently so I'm very excited to try that out and so we're gonna go ahead and grab the beta 4 here throw it in our folder 
and go back to that update, free my Z, extract that. And so what we'll do here is we'll create first a folder on our flash drive. So here's free my Z, and then we'll just grab all this and open it up. But what we'll also wanna do is uh, this default kex here, kex, xex, -E I don't know, kex sounds cooler. But this is just a little bit of demo code that'll run after the exploit is done. And so we actually don't need that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead, you can delete it. I don't love deleting stuff where I'm not entirely sure what it was doing. So I'm just gonna go default underscore old. And then I'm gonna grab the free my Z kex, bring it over here. I'm gonna rename it to default.kex, and then it should run uh, right after the exploit is done so we can jump in and do the fun stuff a lot faster, which is sweet. And we're also going to want a menu of some kind to be able to browse what we put on our Moda 360, and that's where kex menu or xex menu, whatever you wanna call it, will come in quite handy. So we're gonna grab the live one here, put it in there, let that 35 meg file download painfully slowly. Almost done counting the kilobytes. Almost there. There we go, fantastic. All right, so we'll minimize this guy, open up Kex menu, and open up the RAR directly. And over here, I'm gonna go into the live version. And then on our Xbox flash drive, we're gonna go over to content, the bunch of zeros. I'm gonna grab this code 999, bring it on over, and there we go. He's now part of the family and an app that we'll be able to see when the exploit is a going. And the last thing we'll grab will be 360 NAND Flasher, which would be a very good tool to have so we can take a backup of our NAND just in case something goes awry, either now or in the distant future. Just always a really good practice to have a NAND backup of a console you've soft modded in any way. This is a really simple app. It's just simple NAND Flasher, default.kex, da 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 da. So we're just gonna bring this into the root of the flash drive, boom. And then circling back to that Kex tool patcher that I mentioned earlier, this is where we're gonna need to patch homebrew or other tools that we'll wanna run because they're not gonna play as nice out of the box as it would if you had a JTAG or RGH 360 using a hard mod. We need to really, to use an IT term, really blow open the permissions on any executables we're gonna run so that they're not region locked or in some funky mode or whatever. So we're gonna CD into the tools XE patcher, and then it's gonna be Kex tool dash M R dash R A, and then the path to the file. So I'm gonna drag in default here and it edits its own quotes. That's super cool. Just remove my quotes that I had on there and we'll hit enter. It'll do its thing. And you can see, yeah, remove media limit, region limit, bound path, bounding device ID, date restriction. So it cleans it up a lot to make it really happy. And now it is done. And so any other homebrew or games we're gonna run later on, we'll need to run this against it, especially when we add the GoldenEye game later. But we've been on this USB drive for long enough now. Let's put this in the Xbox 360 and make sure that all the files are in the right place and that we can actually exploit this thing and then we can start doing the fun stuff. All right, we're back over to the Xbox. I'm gonna plug in the flash drive in the front USB port here and we can see it's showing up again. Now let's head over to our game games and moment of truth rock band blitz okay so let's fire that up we'll go ahead and press a to start i'll choose usb storage device and we can see it says running exploits that's a super good sign now we just wait and go make a coffee do something else and we'll come back to this and we can see here the exploit has failed in my case because the background animation stopped moving and this is one of those cases that can happen so if either 20 minutes gets hit or the like you see here background stops moving that means that the exploit has failed because it couldn't find that specific state of the xbox code slash hardware execution it's looking for to pounce on that vulnerability and so all we got to do is restart the xbox and try again it's been documented that this exploit has about a 33 percent success rate so you have a one in three shot at getting it to run which is decent odds compared to you know like the lottery but a bit annoying so we'll restart here and we'll come back to you when we get in and praise the lord it did actually make it all the way this time Time, third time's the charm and so you can see it shows us our CPU key which I will blur here for privacy we'll write that down to keep that safe as instructed and you can see in the title bar there this is loading up free my XE which is the default kex file we swapped in so that this would launch right when it finished the exploit process so now we can go ahead and just hit okay here hypervisor and kernel have been patched fantastic we'll say yay and now we're back in the home menu but we are exploited which is awesome now again it's only exploited as long as the 360 is on so we will make good on this time and so what we're going to hop over to now is our kex menu which loads up because this is indeed an exploited 360 which is awesome and now that we're in here we're going to press rb we'll see usb zero 
And now we can slide down to simple 360 NAND flasher and we'll just run its defaults. And beautiful, we can see it runs because we patched it. And we'll go ahead and press X if you want to dump your NAND with raw dump V1. We do indeed, we'll do that. And our NAND is dumping, which is fantastic. And in just about a minute, the NAND dumped, which is perfect. So we'll press any button to exit. Now there's nothing left to do but to throw our GoldenEye 007 remaster on here and play it on actual 360 hardware for the first time in my life, at least. So let's do this. All right, so I'm just copying the Xbox Live Arcade version over to my flash drive. And the folder is called Bean. I believe that was the developer internal code name for the project because of Sean Bean, which I love that. Now I'm going to verify that. Why is 360 golden I 007 called Bean? Come on, this is what the people are asking. You should know. <laughs> Do I know something GPT doesn't? Pretty, pretty sure it's named for Sean Bean. Is that not his name? Yep, it's named for Sean Bean. All right, cool. So that's that. Kudos, Sean Bean. <laughs> okay, that's finished copying. So now let's run our patcher on it. Beep. Fail. <laughs> Gotta actually CD into the correct directory first, then run that. And boom. All right, fantastic. I'll eject this flash drive. Try again, try again. Now it's happy. Now we'll pop the flash drive back in the Xbox. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, where are my titles? I was really scared I'd hit the power button with the uh, touch sensor because I really don't want to have to re-exploit this when we're so close. All right. Back in the Kex menu. And with this launching, that means you can indeed pull the flash drive out and back while it is exploited. So that's really nice. Hop into Bean. Big bucks, no whammies. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, put it on the flash drive, sure. Oh my gosh. It's working. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm putting the sound on. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. I'm so excited on actual Xbox 360 hardware. Let's go, secret agent. Let's do this thing. I can't remember if this is the uh, raw, like, XBLA leak version, or if this is the patched version from the community that I have that fixes some of the game-breaking bugs, but level one has always run well. Oh, look how nice that runs. First things first, you want it to be Jinx and upright, excellent, all right. There we go. That's sensible. Get gone. Get gone. Can you imagine if this had released on the 360 back in its heyday? Like, oh, that was a that was a sick no scope. This would have sold. Like, it's a shame it just got lost in like licensing hell. I would have bought it. I was a broke high schooler, and I would have spent my little funds on this, my friend. The multi, the local multiplayer. Oh. That would be a strong hype Dorito and Pepsi fueled battle <laughs> doing modern 360 multiplayer on GoldenEye 007 remaster. Like, oh, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. He was resilient. He's still not down. That took him some time. Oh yeah. Nintendo 64 graphics. Oh, <laughs> I like they just assume there'll be a glitched out mountain on the 64 over there. Okay, uh, changing weapon. You know what? You know what? Let's really do him dirty. You're not gonna fight me? Oh, he's down! <laughs> I got him! Surprise! Oh, that guy really had his opportunity and he did not use it. He got one shot, man. One opportunity. When I woke up this morning, I did not think I'd finally be able to play the GoldenEye 007 Remaster on my unmodded Xbox 360. Like, now with that flash drive, all I gotta do is like, yeah, you gotta like, you know, let the exploit run a little bit kind of thing. But like, you know, if I just let it run and then once it's on and exploited, like, you're good for the session kind of thing. You know, it's, it's kind of the equivalent of when you're like gonna have your buddies over and you're gonna play, I don't know, like say Halo Infinite or something. That's a, a game that often gets updated in my Steam library. You're like, yeah, come on over, we'll all play Halo Infinite. And then you have to sit there waiting for like 20 minutes because you have like 60 gigs of updates to download kind of thing. You can there, hey, you would have been fun to find. Oh, I shot his hat off. <laughs> well, that was cool. Does his hat stay around? <gasps> his hat stays around. I decoupled it from the guy. Can I, can I? 
<gasps> oh, this is... What? And it, my bullet holes stick around. What? All right, note to self, if you can, if you can knock an asset like a hat off of a character in this remaster, it will be persistent. That is incredibly addicting. I am so, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just watched this hat being shot into the room. Can I take your hat? Oh, it's gone. That's wonderful. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so it's really the same thing. You can absolutely use this soft modding method as your like go-to way to play your homebrew and unreleased Xbox games and backups and whatever. As long as you're cool with the, you know, 20 to 45 minute setup time of getting the exploit to actually take hold, but compared to the pain of doing an RGH or JTAG operation on your 360, I think this will probably be the way that a lot of people go, at least to try it out and see if they like, it's sort of a <laughs> a try before you buy, like before you invest all that time into, you know, soldering the wires and figuring out what motherboard revision you have and all that kind of stuff. This is a way to see like, hey, what would I play and want to do with the modded 360 if I actually got all the way down there? Like, would I just... Would I play Super Nintendo games? Would I, yeah, run GoldenEye 007? And for me, like, I am halfway through an RGH project and I'm really excited about it. Uh, subscribe to catch that video, by the way, when it comes out. But I mean, now I just have this 500 gig flash drive, which I can load up with probably all the games I'll ever want to play on this thing. Come here. Did I get his hat again? I think I got his hat again. He is hatless now. <gasps> whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> As his final act, I'm gonna parkour my carcass up the ladder. What was that? Ooh, body armor. Sick. I am pretty sure I didn't do half of the mission requirements, but yeah. Although this is not as like, you know, ideal a soft mod as uh, other soft mods have been. Like, you know, it's not a permanent soft mod and the exploit has a 30% chance of running and that kind of thing. I stay low when I go for your knees. And you might disagree. You might say like, oh, uh, this is more of a proof of concept. You know, this is, you know, we're only getting part of the way there, like this isn't a real soft mod. And like, you, know, you probably have a point, but also given the high security of the 360, like this might be as good a soft mod as we're going to get. It might be either this or RGH it, but I'm hopeful. Like this is a huge step forward. So maybe people will be able to push forward on this and find a way to make it permanent and more rock solid. Maybe it'll be as easy to homebrew as the Wii flash forward a few years, who knows? So. I'm hopeful, but if this is the only soft bonding option we have for now, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> it should also be noted that if you're willing to patch it, you can also install things like Aurora Menu and all kinds of other popular 360 homebrew and tools and live arcade backups and whatnot. And if you want to dig deeper into this, I recommend checking out the coverage by Modern Vintage Gamer and Mr. Mario 2011, both great channels that I did reference in doing my research for learning how to do this mod properly. But sound off in the comments below. Is this enough for you guys? Like, are you going to call this your soft mod and call it a day or are you still going to prefer to rgh your xboxes or what's your game plan thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you want to help out the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one